This is a Wolfram Alpha demonstration, which was released by the Wolfram Demonstrations Project under the Creative Commons Attribution License. It's called Geometric Elements of a Circle. You can find the original demonstration at demonstrations.wolfram.com and search for Geometric Elements of a Circle in the search box. I'm not going to do this using the full advanced information. You have an advanced tick box here. As usual, like all Wolfram demonstrations, you have a tiny little plus and minus box which hides the controls and you can adjust things using the plus and minus or you can just play through. Firstly, the circumference. This is the line that goes around the circle. Remember that a circle is an imaginary thing we can draw a line that shows us where it is, just like a map will show us where the streets are in a place we live, but the map isn't the place, nor is the um, line which we call the circle the actual circle. The circle exists as a pure mathematical idea. Circum circumference comes from the Latin circum, um, ferro. Circum means around, ferro I carry. So I carry around. What do you carry around? Well, you carry a line around and uh, so it's the circumference the line that is carried around then we have the next diameter diameter dia means through and meter means measurement so it's the measurement through uh, through what it's the measurement through the center of the circle so the diameter goes from one end through the center to the other our next is a chord. A chord, unlike, it's a type of diameter, is a type of chord. Diameter is a special chord that goes through the center. All the other lines that cross from one point on the circumference to another point on the circumference, like here, are not the diameter. They're just called a chord. So, a chord is a special um, well, it's not special. A diameter running through the center of the circle is um, a special kind of chord. Our next is an arc. The arc is part of the circumference. Any part of it can be very short, it can be very long. We have two arcs here. We have an arc here that's black, and we have another arc here that is orange. So an arc is a section of the circumference. Radius means spoke, right? You all know what a bicycle looks like, and it's got a wheel, and the wheel of a bicycle has got lots of these coming out from the hub, which is the center, and they are the spokes. So radius is simply a, um, a Latin word, and it means the spoke of a wheel, and here we have the radius, which is the spoke of this circle, which is, of course, a wheel, really. Semi-circle, semi means half, so here we have half of the circle, semi-circle. Not that difficult. And it's we have two semicircles. One's white and one is orange. A segment is um, well let's go back to semicircle. A semicircle is a part of the area of the circle where the diameter is one edge. Remember the diameter is the line that passes through the center. So if a diameter is one edge of this section of area of the circle, then we have a semicircle. But if it's a chord that's running through, that's not the diameter, we get a segment. So any chord, let's go back to chords, any chord, here's one, will have two sections of the circle which are called segments. But if you have the special chord that runs through the center, then, of course, we have semicircles. A semicircle is, of course, a special kind of segment. It's a segment that's exactly half the area of the circle. So that's our semicircle and our segment. So if we were to do a line like this, for example, then we have a segment here and a segment there. If we did a line there, we'd have a segment here and a segment here. And our last section we're going to look at is a sector. A sector is also part of the area of a circle and it is defined like this. 
right? So it's not a straight line, it's not a cord running through, but rather it's two radii, two radiuses coming out from the center point, and it's the area that's defined by two of these radii, radii or radii, depends how you pronounce your Latin. Um, there's our radius. Right? If we have one radius, of course, we don't have two areas. But if we put another radius coming out here, then we have a sector here and a sector there. If we have a radius coming here, um, like so, then we have a sector here and a sector here. So we need two radiuses, or two radii, or radii, um, to give us a sector. One radius, another radius, our center, our circumference. So circumference, diameter, chord, arc, there are actually two here, there's an orange arc and a black arc, radius, semicircle, segment, and sector.